Russian border becomes China's front line in fight against second virus wave. 俄罗斯边境成为中国抗击第二波病毒的前线。Yulantian 6-7 minutes Sufin. China Reuters China. S northeastern border with Russia has become a front line in the fight against a resurgence of the coronavirus epidemic as new daily cases rose to the highest in nearly six weeks. With more than 90% involving people coming from abroad, Sufin. 路透社：中国东北与俄罗斯接壤的边境地区已经成为抗击冠状病毒疫情死灰复燃的前线。新增病例达到近六周来的最高水平，超过 90% 的病例来自国外。A resident wearing a face mask walks past a shopping street which used to be packed with people in Sufin, a city of Heilongjiang province on the border with Russia, as the spread of the novel coronavirus disease COVID-19 continues in the country. China, April 12, 2020. Reuters Hezongwu 2020. 年四月十二日，中国与俄罗斯接壤的黑龙江省绥芬河。一位戴着口罩的居民走过一条曾经挤满人的购物街。新型冠状病毒病、新型冠状病毒肺炎正在该国继续传播。路透社 ：He is on Wu having largely stamped out domestic transmission of the disease. China has been slowly easing curbs on movement as it tries to get its economy back on track, but there are fears that a rise in imported cases could spark a second wave of COVID-19. China has already in some degree stamped out the transmission of the disease in the country. In order to get the economy back on track, China has been slowly easing curbs on movement as it tries to get its economy back on track, but there are fears that a 进口病例的增加可能会引发第二波艾滋病、新型冠状病毒肺炎。A total of 108 new coronavirus cases were reported in mainland China on Sunday, up from 99 a day earlier, marking the highest daily tally since March 5. 周日，中国大陆共报告了108宗新型冠状病毒感染个案，较前一天的99宗有所上升。创下三月五日以来的单日最高纪录。Imported cases accounted for a record 98. Half involved Chinese nationals returning from Russia, as far eastern federal district, home to the city of Vladivostok, who re-entered China through border crossings in Heilongjiang Province. 外地传入个案共有九十八宗，创历史新高。其中一半涉及从俄罗斯远东联邦区 （Far Eastern Federal District） 返回的中国公民，他们通过黑龙江省的边境口岸重新进入中国。远东联邦区是弗拉迪沃斯托克市的所在地。Our little town here, we thought it was the safest place, said a resident of the border city of Sufin. Who only gave his surname as Zhu? 边境城市绥芬河的一位姓朱的居民说：“我们这里的小镇，我们认为这是最安全的地方。” Some Chinese citizens they want to come back, but it is not very sensible. What are you doing coming here for? 一些中国公民他们想回来，但不是很明智。你来这里干什么？ The border is closed, except to Chinese nationals, and the land route through the city had become one of few options available for people trying to return home after Russia stopped flights to China, except for those evacuating people. 除了中国公民以外，边境是封闭的。在俄罗斯停止飞往中国的航班之后，除了那些撤离人员之外。通过这座城市的陆路，已经成为试图返回家园的人们为数不多的选择之一。Streets in Sufin were virtually empty on Sunday evening due to restrictions on movement and gatherings announced last week, when authorities took preventative measures similar to those imposed in Wuhan, the central Chinese city where the pandemic ripping around the world first emerged late last year. 由于上周宣布的行动限制和集会。周日晚上，绥芬河的街道几乎空无一人。当局采取了类似于武汉的预防措施。
武汉是去年年底首次爆发全球流感的中国中部城市。The total number of confirmed cases in mainland China stood at 82,160 as of Sunday. At the peak of the first wave of the epidemic on February 12, there were over 15,000 new cases, though that was a one-off spike following the deployment of new testing methods. 截至周日，中国大陆的确诊病例总数为八万二千一百六十例。在二月十二日，疫情的第一波高峰期。新增病例超过一万五千例，尽管这是在采用新的检测方法后出现的一次性高峰。Though the number of daily infections across China has dropped sharply from that peak, China has seen the daily toll creep higher after hitting a trough on March 12 because of the rise in imported cases. 尽管中国各地的每日感染人数已从高峰期大幅下降，但由于输入性病例的增加。中国的每日感染人数在三月十二日跌至谷底之后出现攀升。People wearing face masks walk past closed shops in the city center of Sufen, a city of Heilongjiang province on the border with Russia, as the spread of the coronavirus disease COVID-19 continues in the country. China, April 12, 2020. Reuters Heizongwu 2020年四月十二日。中国与俄罗斯接壤的黑龙江省绥芬河市中心，人们戴着口罩走过关门的商店。这是该国冠状病毒病继续传播的新型冠状病毒肺炎。路透社 ：Hezongwu Chinese cities near the Russian frontier are tightening border controls and imposing stricter quarantines in response. 俄罗斯边境附近的中国城市正在加强边境控制。并实施更严格的隔离措施作为回应。Sufen and Harbin, the capital of Heilongjiang, are now mandating 28 days of quarantine as well as nucleic acid and antibody tests for all arrivals from abroad. 绥芬河和黑龙江省会哈尔滨目前规定，所有从国外抵达的难民都必须接受二十八天的检疫以及核酸和抗体检测。In Shanghai, authorities found that 60 people who arrived on Aeroflot flight SU-208 from Moscow on April 10 have the coronavirus. Zhang Jin, a spokeswoman for the Shanghai Municipal Health Commission, told a press conference on Monday. Shanghai 市卫生委员会发言人郑静在周一的新闻发布会上说，在上海，当局发现，四月十日从莫斯科乘坐俄罗斯航空公司。SU-208 航班抵达的六十人感染了冠状病毒。China has cut the number of people crossing its borders by 90% and has tried to stop all non-essential journeys, said Liu Haidao, an immigration official, at a separate briefing. 移民局官员刘海涛在另一场简报会上说，中国已经将越境人数减少了百分之九十。并试图阻止所有非必要的旅行。Our border is long, and apart from the border crossings and passages, there are a large number of mountain passes, paths, ferry crossings, and small roads, and the situation is very complicated, he said. 他说，我们的边界很长，除了边境口岸和通道，还有大量的山口、小路、渡口和小路。情况非常复杂。Residents in Sufen said a lot of people had left the city fearing contagion, but others put their trust in authorities. Containment measures. 绥芬河居民表示，许多人因担心危机蔓延而离开了这座城市，但其他人则相信当局的遏制措施。I don't. T need to worry. Zhao Wei, another Sufen resident, told Reuters, "If there is a local transmission, I would, but there is not a single one. They re all from the border, but they v all been sent to quarantine." 我不需要担心。另一位绥芬河居民赵伟告诉路透社记者，如果有一个本地传出，我会，但没有一个单一的。他们都是从边境来的。
待他们都被送去隔离了。Reporting by Yu Luntian and Tiazong Wu in Sufen, Sei Yang Li, Yang Yingzi and Lushu Zhang in Beijing, David Stanway in Shanghai, editing by Simon Cameron Moore, Kirsten Donovan, Sei Fen He, Sei Yang Li, Yang Yingzi and Lushu Zhang, David Stanway in Shanghai, editing by Simon Cameron Moore, Kirsten Donovan.